Look at it. He looks like Michael Bublé would be singing into that. Wish I could sing like that. Oh, though. yeah. A bit of Bing Crosby. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> dreaming of a wild Christmas. Anyway. Ian Holloway, um, it's a pleasure to meet you, but the circumstances ain't great, are they? No, absolutely horrific. What Stratford must feel, I honestly do not know, knowing the boy like you did. Um, such a wonderful, upbeat young fella. Um, hungry to learn, hungry to help others. To go out at Christmas on a night out and never come home is just horrific. So, um, it, it, I know Jeff, I've known Jeff for a few years now, and um, he's a wonderful man who tries to get young people to take responsibility if they've had some difficulties in their life, and he and he and he trusts people and he makes them believe in himself. So. For him to ask me to come up here and say a few words now, um, it was a privilege. Did I know what I was going to say? No, I thought about it. And really, without knowing the boy, it was a bit difficult, but I felt I knew him after what Jed had said and the people he helps, and hopefully what I said tonight will will help the boys heal and make them realise what they've lost but what would he say about it what would he want you to do would he want you to sit at home and mope and moan or, or would he want you out there fighting and keeping going and and hopefully hopefully I've hit the right chord um, but unfortunately I didn't meet his his mum Tracy my heart goes out to her I'm a parent I'm a grandparent so I it's your worst nightmare isn't it um, but from my point of view it was a privilege to come up here and try and help. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And and your 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 talk to the people as well. When we just retired the shirt out there with the Reverend, you compared experiences of your own family life and you know losing a player that you actually played with when you were at Bristol Rovers as well. Yeah, I lost a great friend of mine called Mickey Barrett, who had probably the best season. He was outstanding left winger. We got him from non-league. Um, he got into the first team and I think Luton were right on the cusp of buying him and uh, he went into hospital um, had hepatitis and then before we knew it he, he was gone within two weeks um, had cancer all over him but you know you'd have never thought it but this is a different story you know it's ended in the same thing but the shock of this the horror of it you go out on a night out and you never come home. I mean, how do you get over that? You know, how does anyone cope with that? But you know, I just try to remind people what would have Cody wanted? What would he say now? What would he do now? And what actions would he take? And I believe he would have been totally positive and gone out there and wanted to fight for his teammate. And absolutely, um, hopefully. We've all got to keep going somehow, and uh, it's about finding that way. Yeah. And, and the club, in just a, a short space of time, have put things in place. They're trying to get Cody's law put made into law. Yeah, brilliant. About you know people going to nightclubs and making sure that they've got the facilities to make people safe on, on a night out, which is all we want for all of our kids. That should be it. it should be a law now, and I can't see any reason that. Our government, who've been in a bit of a mess lately, should see how the football world feels about this and how every mum and dad feels about this and get it done. You know, start getting our trust back because this. I I don't. I got grandchildren. I'm worried to death about them. They're only little at the moment, but you know, the, the world's changed in a horrible way. How can you not be safe in that environment? How can you not have things on the door to to metal detect and make sure that no one's carrying these horrible cowards way of hurting someone or stealing from them so oh, god knows like i i i just feel for all his immediate family how are they ever going to get over it but hopefully they'll take the love that the whole of the football world and community is giving them because i know it i know everybody wants to tell them how sorry they feel for them and how 
uh, they're a massive loss. And we're starting the Cody F- Fisher Foundation as well to yeah. hopefully um, give youngsters the opportunity to coach and referee and get them through their qualifications in that way so that it will always be remembered in the future. Well, I think that's absolutely brilliant. That's typical Jed, the way he goes about things. He tries to make something good out of something bad and he's always done it and I thank him for that. You know, in the end, Cody will, will be immortalised by this and hopefully good can come out of it because at the minute there's no good at all, is there? Hopefully, hopefully something good will come out of this and we need to sort society out and make sure that people from non-blessed homes who are really struggling have places they can go where they don't turn to gangs and crime. We need to sort this out. Ian Holloway, thank you very much for your time and appreciate everything you've said for us today. Thank you very much.